Hi, and welcome to this Get Started video for Backbone Issue Sync for Jira. My name is Thomas from K15T, and today we'll be taking a brief look at how the app can help you sync issues between Jira projects. Backbone helps you to collaborate between Jira projects on the same or different instances. This is helpful when you're working with external partners, consultants, or customers that you don't want to give access to your own project. You're in control of what's being synced and what's not being synced. When you install the app, you can quickly configure a synchronization between two projects and start collaborating. You can find Backbone in your project when you go to the Issue Synchronizations tab. From here, you can create a new synchronization. This example is on cloud, but it's very similar to server or data center instances. In this case, we'll synchronize with another cloud instance. We'll fill out the instant URL and project key Check the name and description and then send out a request to our partners. The partner will now receive a request. Let's quickly switch to the partner's JIRA instance and view the request. Once they view and accept the request, a sync between the two instances is made. Now you can start to configure what you want to sync. Let's start with issue types. Via the Actions menu, we can choose to edit the configuration for the synchronization. Click on a new issue type and add the issue type you want to sync. In this case, let's choose Bugs. In many cases, you don't want to sync all bugs, so you can apply a filter. In this example, only the issues with the label Synchronization will be synced. The next step is to add the fields you want to keep in sync. Here. Click on the new field mappings and add the field you need, in this case the summary and description field. Besides simple mapping, you can also add advanced mapping. This can be useful for mapping custom fields or setting up different mapping styles. As an example, let's take components. The naming is different on both, so we'll just use a correlation mapping. On one side we choose documentation and map it to help articles on the other side. The same goes for UI, which we map to UI UX on project B. You can now configure workflows. You select your workflow and in the next dialog select which statuses you want to map to each other. Beside these fields you can also map the comments. And the same goes for the attachments on the issues. You can either sync it both ways, one way or not at all. So let's put Backbone Issue Sync in action. In Project A, we have a bug. The login button is not working. The team that helps me works on Project B, hence the ticket should be synced. So let's create the bug issue in Project A. So here we are on the created bug issue PA6. On the right, you can find the Backbone Issue Sync panel. This contains information on the synced issue. And, as you can see, the issue is also created in Project B with the same summary and description. Let's click on the synced issue to view it in Project B. Now, we want to make some updates on the issue in Project B. So, we'll change the description so it's more detailed. We'll also add a comment to mention we're working on it. And then we'll also change the status. So now let's switch back to our original issue in Project A. And there we are, all updates have been synced to the issue. The description is now updated, the comment is visible and the status has been updated to in progress. So with Backbone Issue Sync you can sync between projects on Jira Software, Jira Service Management, Jira Work Management and Jira Core. And this is available for cloud, server and data center instances and any combination between them. In short, our app syncs issues automatically, saving you time and guaranteeing that no information gets lost. It has a quick setup with no coding skills being required and you're always in control of what is being synced, and just as important, what's not being synced. You can find the app on the Alassian Marketplace where you can trial it free for 30 days. If you have any further questions or if you wish to provide feedback, please visit our help centre or reach out to us via help at k15t.com. We look forward to hearing from you.